What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. It started a little bit late. My key light is just being the biggest baby lately. Which, like, it's not needed, but it, it adds it adds backlighting. So if I have it off, I'm like, I'm, I'm streaming a shadow cowboy. So I usually like to have the thing on, but it's just like, I don't want to connect. And I'm like, connect, please turn on. It's like, no. This is like the, uh, <laughs> the third stream I've had to, like, just restart it multiple times, like disconnect it, reconnect it, so looks like it's getting replaced and I'm gonna get a new Logitech one because I ain't playing with this bull crap anymore. What's that should I focus on for the cultists? Uh probably health endurance and in inverno. Uh but we are we are back are ready to go. Let me take a quick browse through our side quests here. I want to see what side quests I need to be aware of. Um, nothing about Andreas. Byron set for a while. Damarose is coming up. Drustin is in a cave. Dunmeyer is set. Uh, first thing for Gerlinda is coming up. Uh, Kukajin is here. Nothing with Isaac or Stomond. Uh. Theka here comes up shortly. All right, yeah, so we're looking good. Basically, Theka here and... Theka here and Kukajin. And we get Wilmark's Catalyst soon, too. All right, um, so we are, let me, let me check where we're at here. We are working, I believe, to the 22-22 split at the moment. Mm. Ooh, big pops. Anyone know unmissable trophies? There's a lot. You're not gonna, I mean, the thing with the, the so, to talk briefly about the three endings, um, they're basically determined after you obtain the Rune of a Deer. The thing is, the Rune of a Deer is obtained at like the second to last boss. So if you are gonna go uh, all like, you, you would basically have to back up your save and then like, Play for five hours, reload the save. Play for five hours, reload the save. Play for five hours. Which you could do, in theory, but it's, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of tedious. Uh, agility does not make you attack faster. Skin and tooth. I already covered that in the build video. If you go watch the build video, it shows exactly where to get it. All right, so there's some umbral stuff. I think I have to go into umbral here. No, I don't have to, but let me. So with ammunition pouch. Um. I think I have to take that lower path. I think this just loots me to that lower path. Like I'm 90% sure it does. Or is it the lower path that loops up here? So there's a couple loots as we proceed. I believe this is the same spot 
as the lower path would have been. Alright, we're going through the lower path. What is there? There's a... No, this is a different path. Okay, hang on. So, it's the start. Yes, okay, so from the start, we are gonna, I think we're gonna have people. I'm gonna have people take this path first. Yeah, okay, because that's just a quick loot that they grab. They grab poison, poison arrows, which we need to buy a thing from Damaros. I need to make sure to make a note of that. And then they go, uh, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. So from the vestige, we want them to go umbral and left into the swamp for poison arrows. Or go right, uh, go umbral and take a quick right for poison arrows. Leave and then proceed along main path. There's a few loots as you go. Why is a piece of big step up? I've played hours of this and it gets worse. Irish, I'm gonna only say this once, man. If you don't like this game, leave the stream, okay? I don't care. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm not gonna sit here and just listen to you bitch about the game. If you don't like something on my channel, don't click the stream. Plain and simple, okay? I don't, I don't care. I just don't care. I don't care. I'm having a good day, and I'm not going to argue with somebody about why they think the games that I'm enjoying is bad. Just leave, dude. Just leave. You can like whatever you like. You don't have to like this game, but don't come here and bitch about the game that you don't like it. I, just, I don't want to deal with it, dude. Yeah, people just, it's the internet, people just want, they feel, they have to complain about stuff. It's so annoying. It's so exhausting. Uh, so after we pass under the bridge. Caster's good, it's just I don't need to, I'm not going to waste mana on these guys. These guys are, are basic betties. Alright, so after the bridge, we want to... Pick up Fragment, enter Umbral. And then we have a Belly Pop that has... Angel's Axe. After you pass under the bridge, loot on the left immediately. Then enter Umbral for a belly pop with Angel's Axe. There, yeah, if I wasn't, if I wasn't, like, on Twitter as part of being a content creator, I, I wouldn't, I, social media is just a bane. It's just, it's always, it's just everybody complaining about stuff, everyone going after each other. This is what people don't get. I have people that are like, yeah, oh, you just want your echo chamber. It's like, no. I just don't want to hear any of it. I don't care. I just don't... I'm at the point now where it's like, you know, between work and kids, like, I, I just don't have time for... for people that are upset about stuff and feel compelled to bitch about it. Like, I just, just don't. I don't have the time for it. Don't have the patience for it. Maybe I'm just old and jaded, but I'm like, nah. Making a battle mage possible? Absolutely. Alright, so when they get here, I want them to go up. They're gonna go up. 
and then they're gonna run I believe it's this path to get the shortcut so they go up and they get the shortcut door Up ahead, take the upward path on the right to unlock a door back to the vestige. Honestly, yeah, you can you can do pretty much whatever in this game. You can be uh, you can be battle mage. You can be magic. You can yeah. I mean, just just do it. Just do it. That's our last Radiance point. I mean, I'll say this. I've started recording the walkthrough. The walkthrough is the default Faith Man, and he is using... Uh, he's basically using dual maces, and he's insane. Like, I'm talking, like, destroy half of a boss's health. Insane. That sounds that seemed very unnecessary, sir. Alright, so, uh, things I want to do here. So, after the shortcut, there's a ladder that we can push down. There's also an umbral spot where we go up. And then there's a lot in this place. Let me check the upward path. I want to see if... I think this ends quickly, but I need to confirm that. Um... Part one probably like Monday, but the full thing is gonna take a while. Uh, some loot. Actually, I should just be like suicide running through this. I think this is the route to face. Enemies. this bridge enemies bridge goes all the way up there's some loot up here where the hell is this going I don't know if I've ever been up here all the way go past a big boy you keep going up 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 Jesus this is so far up we're practically back in the fence yeah, alright, I know exactly where we're at, alright. So is this... self-contained area? I think it is. I think this is self-contained. I don't think this... this loops. And what I'm talking about is, does this loop back to anything else? Or is this basically one large area? that I can run through. So we have a visage exit. And then that takes us through a gate we can enter. Jesus, this is so long. Where is this exactly? It has a gargoyle. This has the drop down. Oh, oh god, no. Oh, no, no. Stop that. No, we're dead. <laughs> Damn. Oh. So from what I remember of the Fen, you progress forward through the Fen, so it might make sense to do all this stuff first. Let me just get back to where I died. Exit. We're gonna cross the bridge. 
That's gonna kill some stuff. I don't see anything that's particularly dangerous. And then we gotta run up. We are gonna go up, take a side path. We're gonna go down. Ah, God, these arches. So we go up, we go down. What is over here? Over here, we're gonna have a memory, and that is a shortcut, and this is the room where I died. Which I believe this just led us to some loot. Perfect, okay. I got it. Alright. Return, so we're gonna say, uh... Return through the door and kick down the ladder. But enter Umbral and go up for now. Uh, it is a platinum-ish walkthrough. So a good way to think of it, you know how like Dark Souls 3, we did a platinum walkthrough, but it was like, hey, this walkthrough is going to tell you how to get platinum, but you're going to have to farm for like 20 hours to get these ears. It's the same thing here. So we want to go up the ladder, grab delirium nuggets. Up the ladder. Okay. Um, get the upgrade mats. Kill spear, mage, spear, tanked near fire. After that, we can exit Umbral. Take a little bit of the heat off. We can ambush this guy. Alright, so exit Umbral. Exit Umbral and fight the big knight behind the boxes on the left. I think it was actually like boards. So we kill that. We kill that guy. As we proceed ahead. Alright, up ahead is a bridge that's guarded. Hit sniper on the bridge. And then we're going to have to... Rift to cross it. And fight. So we're going to rift, and then we're going to take a right. 
for smite cure. Up and right for smite cure. Then we go back down and we're gonna veer left. When we veer left, we want to. Uh, so we have that to get. We want to go I think it's just that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna confirm. So the Shuja Harmony Hoop. I definitely missed all this before. After each spell cast, further spells temporarily increase damage. Kind of cool. I think it's just those two. Plans to cover the Dredge DLC. <laughs> Which DLC? One of them I already covered, so you might be talking about the one that I I already covered. Unless it was had come out in like the last week, I already did it. I think it's just those two guys. The question is if there's any reason to go Umbral there. Which I know there's the stigma I need to get. Well, that hurt. Is there anything down in there? Or is it just the stigma? There's the stigma here. And this gives me a chance to test something I've been wanting to test. Which is... Can I grab this? Too much shit. Oh my god. Look at you. There's so many of you. Bunch of bitches. sounds annoyed with questions I mean it's not that I'm annoyed it's just that a lot of people tend to ask like Google tier questions and I don't like being treated like a personal Google but you gotta realize man when you have kids you get asked you get asked non-stop questions all day long What's this? That's that's the this is the remote. What's that? Works for the TV. Ow! Does, does it it sends a an IR signal to the TV? What's that? 
because it because that's how it works and you know like you're gonna, you ain't gonna get mad at your own kids but then you like go to stream and someone's like can I use a sword and it's like man do whatever the fuck you want <laughs> like people are, are new to the game but like there's you know I said some 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 Google questions man okay hit sniper on the bridge let me go photo mode so nothing sneaks up on me. Hit snipe on the bridge, then uh, proceed up for two more. Go up and right for smite here, then back down and veer left. Use lantern to go through the wall grate for loot. Exit out and umbral for the stigma, then exit umbral. favorite souls like game neo 2 yetus deletus so that is pretty fun to do nah i've no interest in ultra wide ultra wide ultra wide is always just problems man Everybody I know that does ultra wide is like my game doesn't run Part of the screen is missing like I don't think I've ever met anybody that uses ultra wide and they're like everything works I, I, It's just always problems Always problems I don't think we even need umbral for this part, but we're in umbral so Oh well And this brings us back to Resh Mesa Sword. Misa. So after we get that, fastest way back would be to run down the hill. And then, uh, Basically turn and run right off here and we're back. Beautiful. Continue, uh... Okay. What do we get? A DD Grand Sword. Swing, swing. I ain't gonna use it, but kind of skinny. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now that area is closed out. Now we've already, I believe that's a whole path if I remember. I 
Like, I'm almost positive this is a... I have a friend coming to see me. Smack a bitch. Alright, so we want to drop down where the ladder was. And we get Curse Worm and Exemplar. Uh, down, bust, open the vines for a ring and tanked. Is that ring good? It is strength and agility by one. Okay. that loot there's some umbral stuff over here oh, if y'all want to fight come on over this way let me make note about that ammunition that might have been a drop but maybe not up ahead take the upward path on the right grab ammo Can I hit you from here? Let's see. Oh, too far. Damn, not too far for him, though. All right, so there are a couple different things around here. Um, I know I can take the path. So, um, after they, after they come down, um, hey man, I've been watching you since DS2 walkthrough. Any advice you give someone being a game reviewer? Any advice you'd give someone on being a game reviewer? Uh, come up with your own metric. As opposed to, to following some industry standard. I was really like, there's no exact method to scoring games, you know? It's not like an APA rubric. So, it's best to find something that works for you. Alright, so after that, continue... Okay. Um... Swamp, expect enemies all over. So we're gonna do this. Life is being crawled since you seem to this thing's better and good riddance. I only had it. If I'd known, never track well, but I feel like meet me at the bridge. And it seemed in this dock, then we'll talk. I don't, but I bear in mind. Alright. Papyrian grenade, exit, reload, grab the loot. Mm. And re 
reload to grab. I think it's a taint behind her, maybe? There are a lot of faith spells, but this isn't a faith build. Even though we're using faith spells. <laughs> This isn't a faith build. We just happen to have all faith spells for now, but this isn't a faith build. We're actually going to be a, uh, a wither man, but we don't have a lot of wither spells at the moment. The Scourge Sister Helm, just like a rare drop. I didn't get that during the walkthrough, which is very sad. We're going to beef things up. We're getting beefy. Mitigation. All right, so we're gonna reload and grab the item behind her. And then I think she gave us, yes, the pendant, okay. Ow, very rude. All right, so that guy's dead. I know there's a ton of shit in Umbral. The question is, do I want to go Umbral yet? So I do if I'm entering the swamp, but I don't have to. I think I can, hang on. Let me figure out how much I can do. Without entering Umbral. There's an umbral exit over here. We have an umbral exit over there. We don't want to go under that bridge. Instead, we want to... So we want to cross the cross the wooden walkway. Not getting that yet. Okay, I remember this is all coming back to me. Alright, so we pick up some poison cure. Alright, so cross the wooden walkway and before going... Okay. Kill the walkers and cross the wooden walkway to fight a few more enemies when you see the wooden um more enemies poison cure inside house umbral before going through the wooden um what will we even call that gateway Dogs are freaking out. Let me go ch check on this.
Uh, Alright, we're good. Now they're barking because FedEx was here. Alright, so. Enter Umbral. And this is going to be our start point. So, a shortcut here that we'll gain access to later. got a saintly quintessence which I need to add those to my notes I have where's it at second I need to uh, need to add I need to add a thing into my notes here um, I need to two three four five six seven eight and Level 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, insert, insert table, Let me plot out these locations. So we have do 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 do. Let's put A. Now we have abandoned red cops. Let me just write them all in, and then I can... I need to use, like, an Excel spreadsheet, I think, to do this. And then I can move the table into my walkthrough. I'm, I'm, I have the locations of the stuff, the, uh, the heels. And so I want to make sure we're checking them all off as we go through. Okay, so pilgrims. Uh, so abandoned red cops. Let's see. Uh, after those two, there's a forsaken fen. After forsaken fen, we have the two in lower Kalroth. After Lower Call Roth, Sunkenless Skane. Fitzroy's Gorge fits in there. Uh, the Thief is where I go after that. 
After that, Path of... Path of Devotion. Let me check his quest line. Um... Path of Devotion. Yeah. So if we go through Thief, then we go to Path of Devotion. Um, when would I want to visit Upper Kalroth? Maybe then. And then we have Mance, Penance. Abbey. And then... Okay, so got it, got it. Got it. All right, now I can mark my saintly quintessences. So we get a saintly quintessence at Red Cops. We get a saintly quintessence back at Pilgrim's Perch. And we just picked up the Forsaken Fen one, so we're looking good. Um, let's see, Poison Cure Inside House, Umbral before going through Wooden Gateway. Look to your right and drop down to plunge the fairy. Get the saintly quintessence. Okay. Souls reviews are hard to go from anyone so I'm like, how have I seen so many bad reviews from Soul Games because they're hard games? Yeah, the reviews for this game have been really odd. Like, I mean, I get the performance issues. I mentioned that in my own review. That's definitely, uh, definitely a problem. And I think the expectation is that obviously performance issues will get patched. And then there's the issue with multiplayer latency. Another thing, it's probably going to get patched, but I think it was worth calling out. But I've seen some, like, really really odd takes in reviews um, I've seen people complain that the game's too hard when I would argue objectively this is probably one of the easier souls likes like once you once you know what you're doing with the mechanics I would not put this difficulty beyond other souls likes you know like um, even even like Dark Souls 1 2 3 Demon Souls Lies of P, the Surge, like the combat in this one is is, it's not like Baby's First Souls like, but if you know what you're doing and you know how to build your character, you can body shit in this game. Like especially, like I mean, perfect example, the ability the ability to use our, uh, the ability to use our or magic to essentially just yeet enemies off cliffs? That's unreal! Umbral Burrower, I think we needed that guy. Yes, we did, okay. Um... Uh, go into the house on the right. I think that was it, right? Oh, get off of me! Uh... Yes. Go into the house on the right and up the path for the Umbro Burrower, which I need to make a note to. Well, we're going to buy the the grenade later, but we're definitely going to need to go back and, and buy people the grenade. Then we are going to... I don't see anything here. Right now the biggest thing is I need to check and see what is there... What do I need to find in Umbral? What is in Umbral that I need to locate? Uh, 
a spot for a seed. Probably not needed here. Um, I think there's less stuff in Umbral than I thought there was. It might have just been the, the saintly quintessence. And then the other stuff. No, there's a whole ass cave here. Where is this cave at exactly? Alright, this cave is by the exit point, so I'm gonna get those uh, after... so we're gonna say uh, uh, um, Burrower um, turn around and exit and then hang right to go into a cavern Cavern to get the poison javelin. Alright, so that's the poison javelin. And I think that's it. No, hang on. I see a goodie up top there. Don't know if we can get that right now. How would we get that goodie? How do we get that goodie? Probably later. Go away. No, there's a ladder here. Shit, how did I miss that? Sneaky, sneaky ladder. So I gotta go all the way up. No. Die. And that's the warrior spear. So I think this is the house that had the umbral burrower. Yes, yeah, so I'll tell him to get the umbral burrower. Climb up the ladder for the warrior spear. And then, uh, and then drop near the umbral exit for the cave. Umbral burrower, um, continue up and So we hit Slamper on the bridge, and then proceed up for two more, go up and right turn swing. Okay. Okay, um, hang on. Um, do 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 do. Alright, so now we proceed through here. Fire salts. We have a left path and a right path. Now, if I remember here. Think. What do I want to do? I know this leads to Umbral Wayfarer, and you can talk to him. Uh, I think this leads to a shortcut. I'm not a hundred percent on that, though. I 
one of these is coming up soon on the boss. Animated Vigor Skull. Animated Vigor Skull. A door we can bust open. And that door we can bust open leads back to that spot we were just at. So how much further ahead would I... Would I go? Probably here. Yeah, this one. This one for sure. Okay, at the split, we're going to stay left, kill the enemies, and round the corner to plant an umbral seed. Alright, so after we rest, we're going to work our way back behind where we just came from. It'll be easy because we're going from behind. Bust open the house door. There's something so satisfying about, like, figuring out the, the ideal path through a zone and then just completely fucking bodying it, like, you know, because obviously I'm thinking about all the time I spent lost, like, looping around this shit and trying to figure out where to go, and now I'm like, yeah, you just go boop, boop, bop, boop, boop, there, there you go, you're done. Belly pop for the verter ring. And then we continue to the right to talk to Isaac, you are. her Has Iron Wayfarer. I came to- I made a mistake. I came to- I made a mistake. <laughs> came from... House... Hop the belly for a ring and continue right to talk to Wayfarer. I think we're coming up on face, so we're gonna head back and take the alternate path, which is this way. will allow us to do what exactly? Okay. There is the wooden ball rolling trap.
wooden ball rolling trap, a ladder that we can kick down, and then this goes to face. Yeah, face. Okay. Watch out for two wooden boulder ambushes involving a walker and a mage. Continue ahead and kick down shortcut ladder and then proceed past umbral door for face. Uh, for face, so we can So when we fight face we want to oh god, no, this is not going well that to work. Okay, so to get face, first thing we want to do is pop that. Motherfucker. Okay. the two seals in the fight first. Oh, run up top. Alright, pop the two seals in the fight first so you can run up top, head up top, and take out the Wither Mages to make it an easier counter. Either focus the face... Soul play or Thanks for doing these, cowboy. Very welcome. Two soul flay will expose it for a critical Not really worth it damage wise though. Okay. No, this is a this is a mini boss. The hardest part of this boss is that you you effectively enter the fight already in Umbral. Which does not make your chances any easier. That shortcut might be faster to get back here, I don't know. Because once you, the thing is, once you pop those two, then you can proceed through and you can take out this guy. And then you can take out. There's another one. You can take out them. And that's going to make the encounter easier because you're not dealing with those spazzes. 
Also, we can now come up here. I think the easiest way is honestly just to to iframe through his shit. Because you're going to fight this guy a bunch as the game goes on. Definitely an annoying fight. I gotta keep popping these guys so that I can soul flay more. Because you can safely just fight this guy from range, like, until you're out of mana. start looking iffy you can just go up here that trio was entirely unnecessary same with that large cluster probably didn't need to do that we need to find some stuff to pop to get back another soul play charge is there anything else to pop I need another charge one more charge, there's one.
I don't think there's any more soul flays. Probably not, so I'll probably have to... Probably have to finish this the old-fashioned way. is doing this. Okay. Pop the two seals in the fight so you can run up top, head up top, take out the wither mages to make it easier and counter. Either focus the grunt after opening it, or play around the back. Um, two times soul flay opens it to a critical, but recommend repeating 1x to expose face. All right, so once he's down, but remember this connects to somewhere. I don't remember where, but this connects to. Alright, so after that, we... After that, we push down a ladder. This is... Close to the start. Let me exit Umbral. Through a new path and knock down shortcut by Spearman. Grab loot in. We grab Vanguard Barros Rosary. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, so we just get Baron Vanguard's Rosary and we knock down that shortcut. I believe that's the only... No, hang on. There's a different path here, too. Isn't there? Yes, there is. This, okay. Is there anything else? Anything else? Okay, so after... Well, let me see. After we do afterwards... Um, I could just say... Take the right path to get the Rosary and uh, kick down the ladder. Rosary and kick down the ladder. Um, the hut in the back has purifying balm. think that's it. But let me go Umbral just to confirm. We got the Purifying Balm. Nothing that way. This way just has the item and then the ladder that we kicked down. Yeah, I believe we're done here. So we would exit down the tall ladder. And then we would run on back to base. Or run on, but we'd exit tall ladder and then we'd run back to the, uh, the visage.
and then we want to go back to Skyrest. Let's see, grab hang after out. Let's see afterwards. Uh, purifying bomb in the hut up top. The rosary in the building off to the side. Then kick down ladder and proceed to vestige. See back to vestige. Back to vestige. Uh, talk to Dunmire and the. Ooh, talk to Dunmire and Kukajin. If they're gonna need to patch the bosses, making them probably smarter or just scaling. It's not that they need to be smarter, it's that a lot of the bosses just aren't aggressive enough. Like I said, from what I hear, you've got no soul, and I'll be there. You didn't expect me. I'm grateful. I help you. Just be sure to me. If you don't, and neither of us wants that. Alright, so Kukajin. Kukajin. Let's see. Looks like it's Saint Tancred. Hush Saint Tancred. Sundered mob. Famous. <clears throat> I believe it's multiple bosses. Let me just say multiple bosses. Chicken nuggets considered child's food? Chicken nuggets is a child's food. Boneless chicken wings is the adult version of chicken nuggets. If the Obama to demand more, for there is no death is a merciful. Hmm. Cleansing spring. Vanguards are well versed in infiltrating so let the presence of this that wherever it will always be found. He has Vanguard's Barrow Sword and some new stuff. I don't really want any of this shit, so thanks, bro. The describe harbor many of believe and yet is that not a sign? <laughs> Dunmire for Dunmire hand over Rosary for a new inventory, um Pieta to upgrade heal and Kukajin. Okay, we are gonna upgrade, push it, oh, so close. Do I have enough? No, not even remotely close. Uh, what do I want? I need a weapon, I need a, I mean, god damn. The first, like, dual scaling weapon I'd really get isn't for a hot minute. Hmm. I don't know what I want to get. I guess I could just keep upgrading this guy for now, which does some holy, but the more I level my inferno, the 
shittier that gets for me, basically. And I'm trying to remember. I don't think I get a better catalyst than you for a while, so I should probably upgrade you to make those spells useful. Ah, you again. Considering I'm one level from embracing my witheredness. Let me, hang on, let me confirm. Mm, 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 mm. Um, so hungering. Let me see. Molu's gets up to. BB, but I don't think he sells it yet. Notice just a shit upgrade. I really don't want that. That would be BB. Hungering Knot is CC. And that's Path of Devotion. Best use is Revelation Depths. Child is Empyrean. And then Sunken Beseecher. That was late game. It's BB. So we're recusing depths. Yeah. Let me see if dude has the thing I want. He has Umbral Guardian and Poison Weapon. Mm. I don't want Umbral Guardian. Chosen bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve. Chosen bearer of the lamp. Like until her embrace. I was trying to think, because I still gotta go. Oh, fuck. We gotta get through Lower Kalroth Mines, then Revelation Depths, before I get, like, a good catalyst. It's gonna be a minute, but it'll be worth any one more level, and I am cooking. All right. Um. Anyway. Like a brief moment of internal dread thinking about just how much more is left to this game. Alright, kill the walker. Basically, this whole area has entered an umbral. We're gonna say, kill what you can. That's ranged. Oh, wrong thing. And then enter umbral. is covered with things. What 
think I can get over there yet. So, alright. We're gonna kill what we can and then enter Umbral. And we're gonna take the path to the right. Lower the bridge to pop the first seal. So after that, we are going to um, enter the path and pick up the Forsaken Grenade. Jesus Christ. Why? Why right now? Why right now? Thought I had offline mode set. This is gonna be fucking annoying. Kick's still parryable? That's whack. What a shitty spot to get invaded. Does mana pool increase the more you level up? Yes. Alright, well, now we're gonna turn that shit off. I don't know why that shit was even on.
The episode will be live when it's live, bro. End of the path and get the Forsaken Grid in your right, then continue along. Up ahead is a fairy guarding an umbral eye. Grab that. And. Uh, Alright, so we want to grab that. And then continue. Oh. We'll pick up the lucky paw that's in the corner. Bonfire, pop the parasites, and kill the spearmen. Okay, we want to avoid the well, actually, we can take we can take the left pathway. And then we're going to plant a fresh umbral seed. I want to... Um, upon returning, we can drop down. So damn annoying.
I need to kill you guys. I gotta kill him. I'm gonna die. Damn it. I probably should have just exited and refreshed the world. So, I gotta kill all the poison mages first. Poison mages. There might not be a reason to even be an umbral for this. I don't think there is. So the play is probably going to be. Kill the poison mages. Exit umbral. Round the corner to get putrefaction. Putrefaction. Okay. So we kill the two poison mages. Oh, this is a weird bug. There we go. I was like, uh, I can't see shit. Uh, so we kill the poison mages. And then we exit Umbral. We are back near the bonfire. What's over there? That's later. Actually, I don't really need to... I guess I could save them a vestige if I just have them run and kick this down. It might be worth it. Um, at the, let's see. At the bonfire, pop the parasites and kill the spearmen. Just to say, a platinum guide will be amazing. There are no roadmaps online, from what I know, and this will really boost our channel. I think. I mean, bro, I, I, I think that, yeah, we'll say yeah. Take the left wooden, but no, um... Uh, 
it down the shortcut, the path to the left has another ceiling spot. Plant if you want, but the run isn't too bad. So would I keep the seedling or not? How many seedlings do I have right now? Five? I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to plant a seedling up there just to be closer to the boss. Yeah, I mean, I'll have him plant one. Hail Butcher's Blade. Alright, um... The house that's ahead and on the left has fragments. Thing in this hut. I think we're good hut wise. After this, take the path. Cross. Uh. That's the, isn't that the shortcut I just kicked down? It is, and I have to go into Umbral at one point, but not yet. the umbral bridge with the lantern get the pyrrhic cultic staff near the roly polies then take the other path and her umbral and drop down there that's down there that I even need.
right, so that just pops the seals so that we can freely run back here. And then what else is down here on this side? Angel of the Void armor set. I should say, just take the... Yeah, 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 okay. Then umbral and drop for... Okay, um, I think that's, I think that's all here. Once you drop, you get the chest, it's back there, you pop that so that you can exit out. That comes after the boss. No, we do not drop by the roly-polies, that would drop us right back over here, which is not what we want. Think we're good here. Emphasis on think, because I'm looking around, just kind of seeing if there are any items that I've missed that I know I can get right now. But I don't think there are. I know I can't get up there, so I think we're ready for the boss. With that. Okay. Um, Pale Butcher Blade House near Shortcut. House ahead on the left has Delirium Fragments. Continue along, snipe the baddies, then cross Umbral Bridge with Lantern. Pyrrhic Staff near Roly Polies. Then Umbral and drop down the alternate path for a new armor set and chest. Pop the seals to leave and head back to our seedling. Okay, upgrade time, upgrade time. Damn, my vitality 18, endurance 13, fuck. I've had the game for two weeks. Okay, we got you. We got eyeballs. Eyeballs, I don't think the eyeballs are worth it. Mist, which poisons enemies. An umbral guardian. I want to go test some of this stuff. Let me warp to... Where is a good spot to test? Sanctuary. So you cost 13, you cost 60. So I can get four umbral orbs for one lingering despair. I'm seeing 143. 143 on that. That's saying 13, but it's doing way more than 13. It's doing 98. So what does this guy do? He seems pretty good. He just spits out a shit ton of umbral. Can I have more than one? No, I can only have one. But he's like a pet. Get him. Get him, Mr. Eyeball. More eyeballs. I could see those against like a large boss since they're going to, uh, 
Like, if these were to all hit a boss, they could potentially add up. But it would need to be a big boss. It is kind of cool how I can just be like, there's fucking eyeballs everywhere. What you gonna do? Huh? You wanna fight? You wanna walk into my army of eyeballs? And then they'd be like, pop, 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 pop. But most enemies... I don't, most enemies, I don't think, are going to be big enough for me to really utilize my eyeball army. You're really good. I need to try out that, and then... Humble Guardian goes there. Let's see. Let's see how fast this poison mist goes to work. I can't see shit. Not sure how I feel about Poison Mist. Mainly because I can't see fucking anything when it's going on. Could be fun. Thank you for introducing me Thank to Souls you. games. THX to you, I love them now. Smile, love your work. What? Look at that. <clears throat> oh, that spell is fucking cool. Let the bodies hit the floor. So this is just massive AoE. Here come the bodies! Blah, 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 blah. That's fucking cool. That's really cool. Combat is clunky, like people are complaining about on Steam. No, it's not. See, you gotta realize, 90% of Steam forums are people that are actually brain dead. Like, just purely brain dead. Anything you read on Steam about a game, nine times out of ten, it's not going to be right. The best way to figure out if something is good or not... ...is to get the opinion of a content creator that you personally listen to, and whose sentiments you typically agree with. Hitting for like 154 with that, which isn't a whole lot. Ow, stop that. Why you do that? Why you do that? Mr. Eyeball, save me. Eyeball friend, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, man. Umbral magic ain't looking too hot so far.
Hang on. Fucking dog, man. His health bar ain't that massive. I'm just doing fucking tiddlywinks for damage. I'm really not sure. Um... Like, I really like the idea of Umbral Mage, but like, Lord, the damage is not good. Umbral Mage damage, no bueno. Oh, God, there's people I can pull. Damn, a Rose will come out and help. Kukajin, that's the one we need. Torture Prisoner will come and help. Storm will come and help. Iron Wayfarer will come and help. No, no late game spells I can show off. Ow, bro. So he has a ton of... There's like umbral parasites everywhere in this fight. But I'm not sure what benefit there is to killing them. I just wanna, I'm trying to figure out what purpose Like, will these hurt him? Can I use these, like, as mines? I cannot. Maybe I can use that to dismount him? So when he puts it back and thrusts, that's his charge. Can knock him off course with ranged. this troll keep it up next time I'll ban you knock him off horse with ranged um
I want I'm not sure what the purpose of all those umbral parasites are. Umbral Parasites will stop the... Okay, that's what I can- that's the whole purpose of them. You use the Umbral Parasites to knock him off his horse. Does his horse stomp, we want to roll through it. Parries work pretty well. The shield slam, he's ah, he's on top of my ass. Certain halberd swings will summon the roots. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to go pee real quick.
so let me text. Oh. SQ locations. X. Abandoned red cops. Oh God. How X. Did I, how did I? Pilgrims perch. Stop. Stop. X. What is this? Forsaken Fen. Fitzroy's Gorge. Lower Calraf. How do I stop that? Lower Calraf. Jesus, I, I put on like read to text by mistake and it's reading through all of my locations. Uh, that was annoying. There we go. I was like, what are you doing? I dropped my phone and it's like, let me do this, fam. <laughs> no, fucking don't. Uh, I just gotta see what time I'm supposed to... What time I'm, I'm doing the gym today. to do oh I was checking to see text the trainer um, let me know what time I should be there if you get past traffic fast and then let me see where the wife is, because I'm fucking hungry. This game does have a build reset, and I'm probably going to fucking do it soon. Hang on, this says Paige is home. Let me go check, because she was grabbing... Let me see something here. Lunch time. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Because I know I was really adamant about the idea of a wither mage. But, man, so far... So far, wither mage ain't too hot. Actually, quite the opposite. Wither mage just seems bad. Like, I know I don't have a good wither weapon. And I know I haven't been been uh, upgrading my catalyst but I also haven't been upgrading my holy catalyst and that currently just goes smack 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 so like what's the deal you know Lies of P is not getting and will never get a walkthrough because it does not need one Alright, chat. You're going to bear with me, because it's lunchtime. Every now and again, people get real upset. Real upset when I eat on stream. They're like, fucking sh be streaming. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Did my providing myself with sustenance offend you? But I have been I'm hungry. I need like a plate for this bad boy. This might get messy. It's 
place said they have an Italian beef. I have not had an Italian beef in a while. We shall see if this stacks up. All right, already the bread. It's like they put this thing in like a baguette or something, which is a little, a little too, uh, a little too firm for an Italian beef. But you typically soak it in the au jus. So we will see if it softens up and becomes better. Mid. Mid. The wife was like, oh, this place is great. This is, this is not a good Italian beef. The beef's good. But there's no cheese on it. The bread is way too firm. And the pepper quality is poor. Get it in there. Soak up that au jus to make it, make this bread even viable. Right? How are you going to forget the cheese and the Italian beef? Yeah, the bread's the biggest, the biggest factor because this is like a hard baguette. Like, hear that is the mic picking that up you hear how hard that bread is which you either soak it and then it's just pure soggy disappointing I'm gonna go dunk this and clean up. That's the shortest food porn ever. Sad.
<laughs> Bam. My, there was a bar I used to go to a lot back when I lived closer to Nashville. And they had the best fucking Italian beef, man. They had the best. You could get like a four inch or an eight inch sandwich like fuck that. And this thing was packed. And they would simmer up that beef and then load it up with the hot peppers and then melt cheese all over it like provolone. And it was so good. Because the bread was the bread was soft. So you dunk it in the au jus and it just fucking melted in your mouth. It was amazing. Compared to this, this was like a hard baguette. And for those that have never had had an Italian beef, it's like uh I guess the best way to describe it is it's almost like French dip. Like a like a spicy French dip. What's the difference between an Italian beef and a Philly cheesesteak? Italian beef typically comes with like a gravy or an au jus to dip it in, similar to French dip. But one of the defining factors is the bread that it's put on is different. It's it's meant to be more of like it's it's handled closer to like uh, a cheesesteak or a uh, a hoagie or whatever you want to call it and it's meant to be dipped whereas a cheese a cheesesteak the cheesesteak the the meat is usually prepared a little bit differently uh and that chest has usually like cheese whiz and whatever else you want to slap on it it's typically not dipped so some some little differences here and there but the, the biggest thing being that I guess you could think of an Italian beef like an in-between a uh, a French dip and a cheesesteak. Those days are long gone. Damn. The wife just texted me and she goes, sorry if the food isn't good. They got a new chef and mine was okay. Not nearly as good as last time. I'm like, yeah, it was mid. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Right, the vape smoke turns green. Neato. Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I guess I could start putting some upgrades into Charm of Fortune site. What does this even get up to? I don't think it scales well. Let me see if I can... Uh... Now this gets up to B. Why is the game being reviewed? Bro, honestly, never, just never look at Steam reviews. Steam, Steam, re like, review bombs everything. All the time. For the dumbest reasons. I mean, let's, let's be honest here. Steam, people in Steam were review bombing Armor Core because they couldn't beat the helicopter. Yeah, and, and crappy PCs. True, exactly. Most of these people are working on PCs that are are old as balls, barely functioning, and then they're like, "Why isn't my game run 4K Ultra?" It's a brain dead head ass echo chamber. Don't need multiple wooden crosses. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, 
we're gonna if I'm gonna make this work I'm gonna give it a good college try here we're gonna upgrade it I need 750 I can't can't afford that man can't afford that what can I get 700 from yes Now it needs a thousand. Ah, you again. Mm. I'd have to sell off all my Manix salts. That ain't happening. What about these guys? What do I use you for? I never use those in my playthrough. We're selling those. Um, I barely ever use this shit. Barely use that. Barely use that. You again. Alright, that's as much as I can upgrade it. People blowing me up on Discord. Uh, there we go. That's what I need. My notes. That. Uh. Okay. Summon Kukujin for quest. Knock off horse by pop an umbral parasite when he approaches. When he pulls back halberd, he plans a big piercing grab. Certain halberd swings will summon the roots. Um. Let's see. Phase two, more root attacks and roots on shield. I think that about covers it. This isn't a particularly hard boss. All right, Kukujin, you got to come along, prove your worth. Have anything to get here? Ah, shit! Came for me. Ah, shit! He smacked me. How much Vicar is on the line? It's probably like ten. Oh, that's a pretty penny. Bodies. So my body just hits for 158 and it takes forever to go off. I like the little eye thing, but I don't think that's worth it. Outside of like... Hey, 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 come back here. Come towards me. Why you gotta be running around like a little bitch? So far, Wither Mage don't seem that good. And Kukajin getting her cheeks slapped right now. a big shield slam, you roll through it. Ow. Ow. 
All right, that was cheeky. You got frostbite too. I doubt you need her to survive. All right, so basic wither, that ain't gonna do nearly enough damage on a boss. You cost 39, you're more of an AOE option. I think we gotta go for the eyes. The poison thing, this is cool, but that's more for like fighting normal baddies. I need to pair it with her with a dot like poison to make it effective. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen right now. Because this is like the poison swamp man. Where's my shit at? There it is. I'm gonna try something a little different here. Go attack Kukajin. Gotta get up on him. Eyeball shotgun! And now I'm just gonna sit right here and he's gonna run into them all. Eyeball shotgun. I'm just doing more damage, just smacking him with my shit, bro. I should just hit him with the, the halberd. My wither magic ain't nearly good enough yet. So we gotta roll, <clears throat> roll into the shield slam.
Phase 2 adds more root attacks and roots on shield roll into the big shield slam. My umbral magic desperately needs to be better, dude. All the souls are mine. I can test this. Okay, so you can still see it. We ain't doing any. I think I need to interact with it and then choose to do nothing. Or maybe I don't even need to touch it. I don't know. Either way, you don't want to interact with it. The ultra broken build is just use strength. Fucking body everything. That's where I came in. I want to go out near the fire. Near the torch. Status builds are definitely viable. There's some there's some shit coming up that'll probably make what I currently do a lot better. Um, you know, we're gonna... Part of the problem is I don't really have, like, a good... I don't have a good, um... Like, weapon or umble yet. Like, there's stuff coming. But I don't have it yet. Hello, little friend. Do you want to play? I know some fun games. Are you hungry? So we have a stigma up ahead and then a new vestige. Maybe I should give you a bath. I think that little girl was, uh, <clears throat> she was playing with one of those little poison things, dude. I intended to start, uh, including the so, in case they took, uh, no, not that, it's an, of course, the only light you, he watches over, he just does so. All right, uh... I think you have to buy the whole. I don't know if you have to buy this whole armor set. Probably because since you got to collect all armors in the game. This is why for the for the walkthrough I'm just gonna be like, y'all got to do this. Y'all got to buy all this shit to get your trophy. I ain't gonna buy it, but y'all got to buy it. Uh, let's see. I already bought your thing. No, you were a CC. <sighs> Heavy shield. Exploding javelin of putrid magic. NATO! Please be good. Please be good. Please be good! Really hope this is good. It costs 52. I should talk to Kukajin. 3,000! Damn! A pleasure. The wise always do right by the cook 
I help you, just be sure to make good on me. If you don't, and neither of us. Damn. Everyone else is free. Fucking side quest sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna need about a uh, tree fitty. <laughs> what? Why are you so expensive? It's ridiculous. spell that seems solid just a straight 330 I think I is it a multi hit no it's a single target hit but that seems solid Every stream someone mentions Dark Souls 2, doesn't that pique your interest? <laughs> no. Why? Why? Why would it? No peaked interest. None. You could just as easily be like, Cowboy. Every stream somebody talks about... Putting your head in the, the bathtub and screaming until you almost drown. Doesn't that sound fun? No. Equally not entertaining. All right. So, Vestige of the Pale Butcher. All right, uh, so it's probably best to just immediately go into Umbral here. So we'll say... First thing we're going to have people do is go into Umbral, drop down, and kick the shortcut so you have it. After that, take the ladder up. Well, we take the ladder nearby up. Get the delirium fragment. So I think that's the ring I wanted. Yeah. Um, there's an umbral exit, but we're going to ignore that. And Take a left to find our full. How do I? What's the easiest way to get over to this? I don't want to run people through this, so we go up, we kill.
Okay, so after they get the ring, they should... They want to cross the thin wooden bridge and then veer left to find their first mimic. Okay, so after that, they go back to the wooden bridge. And they should see a ladder that they can kick down. And poison salts in the corner. What's up? Oh, water balloons? I think it's a little too cold to play with those outside, buddy. You want those? You're gonna have to ask mama. Mama? Yeah, go ask mama. I think it's too cold, though. Kid's a maniac. The fuck? Wants to go outside and do well. Actually, he could. It's warm today. It's like 74 out. It loves water balloons. Is there anything else down there? It's just drop in and investigate real fast nothing this just leads me up to up to that path uh, yeah 74 is hot what I'm saying you understand like the, the last couple days it's been like 60 so I didn't realize it had gotten warm again. I thought he wanted to go outside and play with water balloons in 60 degree weather. I was like, that's not hot. That's too damn cold for water balloons. All right, so back where uh, we're gonna We're going to continue to the right. into burden. I think that's all that's over here. We obviously have a lot of withered friends that are beginning to come along. We're getting kind of close to Red Reaper territory, so I gotta be, gotta be cautious here. Maybe 
we gotta go. We gotta go. Shit. Um. Where was it at? Where was it at? Where was it at? Where was the fucking wither exit, bro? We're gonna die. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Oh, man. Just in time. Woo! That was about to be rough. Alright, back to bridge and kick the ladder down. Continue following the path around. And up. Past enemies fighting is a necklace. When you return, hut on the right has arrows. So, let me just verify the notes. So, back to the bridge, kick down the ladder, grab the salts around the corner. Uh, continue with the following path to the right. Continue following path to the right, around to uh, kill some enemies, and then head up a ladder. Kill more spearmen and up another ladder to encounter enemies fighting. Enemies fighting. Fighting. Get the necklace in the chest. Okay, when you return. Kick down the ladder, then circle right for the arrows. Hey, appreciate that. Good attitude, my two-year-old kid even likes you and has offered candy to TV uncle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, so we got that. Good there. There's the other pathway, but I don't think that leads to anything. I'm almost positive it doesn't. Oh, let me re-enter Rumble. The re-enter Umbral to confirm, though. So that's where they are. Uh, as we take the other path, this brings us back to where the uh, back to where the mimic was. Optic ring that's hanging in the tree. Some amu pan pan panoptic ring hanging in the tree. 
trio on the left. Uh, okay, so the heal items are to the left by the rocks, and then there are more items up ahead near the boxes, and then I believe that's it. I believe we have successfully completed our little loop-de-loop -loop here. I don't think there's anything else hidden. Looking around, but I'm not seeing anything, so I think we're good. So we rest. And then after resting, we're going to go back across this bridge that we had kicked down previously. get a map of Fitzroy's Gorge. Oh, God. There's a ambusher. Okay. After the Umbro Gate is an ambush gargoyle. Um, how far into Fitzroy's do we want to plant a thing? Probably not this soon. It's too early. Oh, shit. Bodies! Picked up some stuff. Uh, we want to go up ahead. Is 
this the one? Probably here. Uh, ahead, we'll enter Fitzroy's Gorge. After the Umbro Grate is an ambush gargoyle. A few fire dogs. Ahead, guarding some loot. After the Ravager, there's a seedling spot to the right. So after them, this that takes us back. I'm trying to get a quick mental map. So I think we want to go that way first, but let me confirm other directions. loot there this is gorge proper this weapon have my does okay So the left path will be easier to clear first. I think how I want to continue. I got got about thirty minutes. Let me try and get through this this zone. Try and clear out this, and then we can save the other pathway for a later time. This leads us to Ravager. Oh no, Crimson Boy. Got 
poisoning you? I feel like it should be poisoning you. There's a quest with him. If you've killed Rector, his body can be found on a stone slab next to Damaros. If you haven't killed him, If you, if you kill this guy, his body is on a stone slab next to him. <coughs> if you haven't killed him, uh, he will disappear and his body will appear on a slab. Okay, so we do want to kill this guy now. Ow, I was stuck in an alt tab, bro. Very rude. Some more umbil shit over there. So I need. I think I need like um. I need bleed or burn. I need I need something. I need status damage somehow. Still smite, but that's not it's not what we need. I think it's worth it. How long do you take to get poisoned? So that's doing 3 1 2. smiting me. I don't know if I can even poison this dude. It sure as shit feels like I can. I'm putting his ass in the poison cloud and he don't fucking care. I 
And now he's healing himself. Are you just immune to poison, bro? Oh no, he is poisoned. It just took fucking forever. Damn, his poison resist must be insane. I'm ripping out those eyes. What what eyes are you talking about? I'm talking about the Increase your inferno and radiance. Bro, I'm at 22. Damn, how much y'all want? No, this isn't a, a question of a HP. This is just me... Me testing whether or not I can even poison the boss. We're talking about the parasites. I don't... I don't think the parasites help him. I can pop all the parasites. I'm pretty sure they don't impact his encounter, though. But we'll confirm. I don't see why the parasites would, would be helping him, because he doesn't have an aura on them. Looks like it staggers him briefly. Make it easier for me to poison his ass. takes that was like three casts of poison to get him Super fucking annoying. The healing is what makes this guy so fucking irritating. I need to think of a good way. The problem is once he gets to like half health, he's going to start healing a bunch. So 
Yeah, he's not worth poisoning. He takes too long to poison. I mean, he's, he's if I remember, he should be, uh... Let me, uh, hang on, I got some shit I gotta close. Um, is that, what's his name? Crimson Vector Percival. Hmm. Crimson Rector. Yeah, I think the best bet is going to be maybe I can soul rip him when he tries to heal. I think this is just a matter of, of uh, basically just aggro. Just stay on top of him and don't let him fucking heal. Definitely not your typical, like, oh, let me... Because we keep, like, dicking around trying to poison him and do all sorts of shit. And that's not what this fight is intended for. On my dick. Holy shit. Ah. Yeah, so just beating up on him is definitely the way to go. Oh, that's some bullshit. Damn it. Pop parasites to interrupt the healing. It's mm. an interesting idea. It does look like they they interrupt him from pretty much global range. I mean, the faith guy is gonna fucking bully his ass, but this weird hobo character is not really kitted out for this fight.
What the fuck, bro? He did like a one-two combo. How many fucking things are you making? So after killing him, we get bloodlust. We pick up some nuggies. Bloodlust, nuggies, and then I think this is the shortcut back to the perch. Turn to see them. Oh my god, look at where we are. I think bloodlust is supposed to be really good. Let me check. Where are you at? Bloodlust, you are physical fire and you have bleed and burn. Baked in. Man, two of those swords would probably be pretty wild. I wouldn't really, I don't have 13 agility, so I can't really like utilize that all that well. I'd have to spec into it to use it, which is less than ideal. I think you'd want two of those. And then you'd probably use, like, Inferno Salts, I guess. And that would be... That would be your ideal setup, because then you could capitalize on the burn. The burn and the bleed. The random lightning strike is known as smite. Let's get that to 20, and then we can pump our auxiliary stats. I don't think when the first real weapon I get I guess there's the poison poison pickaxe is down and sunk in the sky and that's all that's so far though man that's after fucking uh that's all the way after we gotta go through all of lower Kalrath before I get that actually no we gotta go through call call all Kalrath in general not just lower to 
level up my weapon. Just, I'm not leveling agility at all. I'm trying to think what would be, like, thing that sucks is all the weapons that I want, I don't come into contact with until quite later. And if I was going to use this, I would need another one-handed weapon that has some type of status application, like, um, like this, I guess. Because then I could capitalize on the bleed. Be what, 12? That's more, I mean, if I was doing a caster build, that would make sense. I could use Hallowed Praise and Bloodlust to rapidly build up bleed. If I was dual wield, but no, I think I just wait and I keep pumping my catalyst for the time being. All right, what time is it? It's almost four. Um, I want to wrap up. Probably got to go to the gym shortly. I don't remember how long Fitzroy's Gorge is. I think it's. I guess we can we can push. Let's push a little bit. Let's push a little bit. Amaro's already left, so I didn't even get to talk to her. She's already at her hub. I don't know if you have to talk to her, though. Let me make a note. Not seeing any, like, 
like hidden loot. Oh, I remember this area. This area is balls. So you continue along path of killing. Let's see. Grab the what's it called? Uh Kill her. Let me exit Umbral. So paranoid about the time. I don't want to be late. I think I can get through this though. Continue along the path, killing dogs and ravager scrag stigma, then range down the crossbow serpent up ahead. There's some brigade and bomb gargoyles. So that, it looks like that does poison. It looks like the, the, um, my wave of death definitely poisons stuff. Troy sword. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> kill more dogs and be weird as we wear the mimic. On the right. That asshole. And 
And then as we continue, we can I'll do. drop down and talk no, to Justin. I'll try evil. <laughs> Belkia, he's a fake and evil wizard. Those I fell down when I woke up, and he'd never, not to. Speak with him here. So we talk to Drustin, and then there's a spot if somebody needs it. We want to go... We're not worried about Justin, though. Instead, we're going to go back up. Grab the Delirium Fragments and exit Umbral. Damn! Caught him right in the dick when he jumped. Ceiling spot if needed. Um, kill the enemies from above. I think there's something in Umbral here, but I don't remember that well. This is just a platform in the event that we need to run back. That one spell is actually pretty fucking good. Nuggets down below where the dogs were, and then a bigger skull up ahead. Out of my way. This is Ravager. Fuck. They're definitely gonna want to have a rest spot before they fight Ravager. 
So maybe we do grab the rest spot. Because if they don't have that, I don't want to send anybody into a boss fight without a checkpoint. That would just be uh, cruel and unusual. I feel like there should have been one closer over there. Does this pop out exactly? I oh, know, so they do want to. They do want to get this because that's the cracked rune tablet. And then they work backwards to kill the stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Kill more dogs and ravagers. Uh. and grab the seedling spot and proceed ahead for the first rune tablet. Uh, head back up and kill enemies from above and work to where the archer was for loot. Work your way down and in the pit is some upgrade mats. As you exit, it's another boss fight. Yeah, they're definitely going to want that, just because otherwise they have to fight this dude, but then no save, and that sucks. How many hits with that does it take to poison a ruiner? You don't like that, do you? Not what I meant to happen, but okay. Soul is mine. Okay, um so I'm trying to remember how I did this. This gives us a shrine that we need, we need, we need. Uh, to get the umbral entity we want to run through the doorway
Um. Causes fire eruptions underneath you. Pop the seal. So we're gonna have them kill the mage, fight the horde. Kill mage, fight horde, pop seal, kill mage, up ladder. And then we exit Umbral. Exit Umbral and go right for Nuggets. Why am I stuck? There we go. For Nuggets and a ladder shortcut. for Brio Stone Pairs. Let's use up our regular ones. What's this? Um. Gonna have them run right past these things. Run past, run past, run past, get the vestige. Get off that ledge. Think you're gonna survive? Wave of death! Wave of death! Why, hello there, you ugly old shit.
there any reason to go umbral out here? No, there is not. Oh, left-handed bringer of stillness sword. I wonder if he always drops that. I think I found the right-handed bringer of stillness sword. Hmm. Has frostbite on it. See agility. Need to <sighs> I just got the left handed, right? Yeah, so I think they are just random drops, because I think I got that for fighting the bringers as well. So I think it might just be a farm to drop. Okay, so afterwards, um, I want to... Talk to Dan no, Rose. Enough. I've, I've got a rogue, and I don't rogue. Up. It's his way. As long as you're. Make sure we purchase this shit. can pick up the charred fingers um meet damn rose of Fitzroy's gorge stones so if you've killed rector his body can be found on a stone slab next to damn rose in the cave doctor in the cave again um Jesus Christ. Trainer just messaged me and is like, I'll be at the gym at 4.30. I'm like, bro, what? Seven minutes from now. Fuck. So we got to wrap up here. But this is a good spot to wrap up. We've made it to a... Uh, we've made it to a new vestige. This is the, the PvP vendor. So we can... Talk to the PvP vendor to get a gesture. And we'll end right here. This works out. So, all right, chat. We're wrapping things up here. Um, I need to record all these episodes before I stream anymore. So probably no stream tonight. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm heading out. Catch y'all later.